Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to a video I've been wanting to do for a little while now and uh, just to simply talk about Stormtroopers and uh, just thought I'd run, I just wanted to run through the change of Stormtrooper figures through the years, you know, we've got 40 years of history since uh, 1978's uh, Kenner, I don't know if you want to count 77 but not really, uh, 1978 is the year they hit and uh, we're going to start there, so we're going to start with the old Kenner Stormtrooper, now this one is, uh, this one has a date on it of 1977, so yeah, technically I guess it was made, um, back in 1977, uh, but yeah, these things really didn't get out till, oh, no, they didn't, because they were, they didn't get out till Christmas, so, but yeah, this is going back a while, <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, definitely stood the test of time. People are definitely still clambering to try and get a hold of as many of these as they can, trying to army build their uh, vintage Kenner collections, which is really, really cool. I'm happy we have have one. Um, I did get the, the retro collection one, um, which I don't have here because it's basically the same thing. Slight, slight difference in sculpt, but... Uh, yeah, but we'd uh, just sort of go through one by one and uh, just talk about Stormtroopers for a little bit. So yeah, nothing really changed um, with the Stormtroopers. They did a Luke in Stormtrooper disguise in the Power of the Force line uh, in 1985? Maybe 1984, 1985, um, in which case he did have a removable helmet, but yeah, there's no articulation on these. They're all sort of sculpted part of the same thing, um, all part of the torso there. So yeah, no movement on these. So there is that one. Now fast forward to 1995 with the resurgence of Star Wars collectibles, and uh, we had the Power of the Force 2, as it's now dubbed. And we got these sort of He-Man-ish figures. Um, and if you do, if you haven't seen on my channel, every Friday I do Power of the Force Fridays in which I highlight a figure from the 90s. Because um, that's my vintage, that's when I grew up. I grew up with these big chonky boys. So yeah, this really started opening up the doors for more troopers. We got a sand trooper finally. And uh, we got a couple of variations of Luke and Han in Stormtrooper disguise. Uh, it was the first time they did a Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise, disguise. They never did one in the vintage days. Um, and he was a Kellogg's exclusive, I believe, if uh, memory serves me correctly. Luke was available on a single card. And then there was a multi-pack that had uh, Chewbacca in, in handcuffs with Han and Luke in Stormtrooper disguise, bringing him into the detention detention block. And that was kind of to celebrate the uh, pending special editions, but also it was a little subline called Cinema Scene, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, this guy goes back to 1995, and that's uh, those are the years that pretty much kicked it off for me. Pretty much 1994, 1995 when the toys came in. Now we're going to skip forward a few years, because uh, I don't have every Stormtrooper that was released, okay? I'm, I'm just going to preface by saying that. There were a few released over the years, such as Power of the Jedi, um, and even the 2002 Saga line, there was some Stormtroopers throughout that. Um, but this one, we're going to... Let's have a look at this date. 2005, so this one did last a few years. As you can see, this one was actually... A sand trooper, I think, just with the, uh, the yellowing. It did have a pauldron at some point. Um, I've had this in my collection. I bought it in a bought it in a lot at some point in the past. But uh, this sculpt sort of served a purpose for for a few years afterwards, and uh, it was a it was a worthy figure for the time. Uh, probably doesn't hold up by today's standards. It's all right for a scene filler. You'd put him in the background. No one really cares. <laughs> Um, when they're in the background of your scenes, or your display shelves. But yeah, not a, not a terrible looking Stormtrooper. By any means. I like this one a lot. 
still holds up. I wish I, I wish it was a clean version. I don't have any of the clean versions of this exact sculpt, but they were used in numerous types. We're going to look at the next one now. now this one is the Space Trooper. So again, we're looking at 2005 mold. This one was released, I think, in the Legacy Collection in 2008, which is he had a removable helmet, was uh, technically released as a Space Trooper from A New Hope. And you see a couple of these guys as the Falcons keep being pulled into the uh, Death Star. So you see a couple of these guys sort of standing outside. Just have a little bit of blue tack there to sort of just hold that on. So again, sort of cool. You could, uh, you know, switch out that head if you didn't have a Han or Luke, which they did do later in the Legacy Collection. They did release those two figures with this sculpt. Um, I think the Luke was slightly retooled just so he could be a bit shorter. Um, again, they're figures I never had. But uh, yeah, nice cool mold, that one. Space Trooper, we haven't seen seen one of those since and now this one was reused again for the force unleashed so the shadow trooper again using that 2005 sculpt no removable helmet on this one so he's more akin to the uh that first one i mentioned so there's that one that is the shadow stormtrooper and this is where things start changing up a little bit with the uh coming of the vintage collection in 2010 in which case sand trooper was part of a very early uh lineup for that for that uh figure range and uh later spawned a couple of re-releases um as stormtroopers in a three pack uh vintage style sort of three pack in which you know it's not totally accurate it's a little bit different to a, what a stormtrooper should be um you know this the sand trooper helmet is uh very much a different sculpt to to that and you can sort of see the way it's sort of perched up on the peg there on the head that it is missing the pauldron and to the uh insert there for the uh backpack the sand trooper has nice addition to the holster there which is cool i don't think the sand troopers had that um but yeah the winning point of this figure was the uh ball hinged hips which is a big big win for this figure um but yeah, of course, you need the sand troopers to have the ball hinged hips so they can ride the do backs, which is reasonably cool. So, there was another Stormtrooper released in the vintage collection um, using this same similar body. I think it was similar. I don't think it was exactly the same, but it did have the ball hinged hips, better looking helmet. Um, but yeah, still, still not 100% perfect. That one did have some issues with uh yellowing of the helmet as did some of the other clones and stuff early on in the vintage collection um but they don't seem to have those issues now which is which is great um i'm not seeing any personally so fingers crossed that continues hey so coming in 2015 we no i'm gonna actually jump back a little bit 2014 is when we first saw the black series Stormtrooper come into play and this one held up pretty well for a long time um, recently recently within the last year or two has had an update and I'll show you that very very shortly um, but yeah this one held up quite nicely really nice helmet sculpt I think it still it still holds up really nicely I think it looks quite good So yeah, obviously the Black Series really kicking off in 2013. This one came out 2014. And uh, yeah, saw a few releases over the years, a few different repaints. Um, we had a Shock Trooper and an Imper uh, Imperial Commander. Um, 501st Commander Stormtrooper released in the Gaming Greats line. So lots of Shadow, shadow version. Um, and a crimson version, <laughs> just every color of the rainbow you can think of, just a bit. So yeah, that, there was that one. 
and a little off track from the Imperial Stormtroopers, but coming into 2015, obviously the hype of The Force Awakens was coming, and we were offered this one very early. Uh, it began as a exclusive, I can't remember where, I think it was STCC, um, the First Order Stormtrooper in Black Series. So yeah, taking that sort of first step into an evolution, a future of the Imperial Stormtrooper. I still, I love this design. I think it's fantastic. It just completely makes sense, you know. Just feels like a, you know, a really nice evolution of the old Imperial Stormtrooper. I think it worked out a treat. And it allowed them to opportunity to sort of go back and revisit the uh, Imperial Stormtroopers just to, due to the fact that budget restraints and stuff caused them to be a little bit on the sort of cheap looking side back in the original trilogy. It worked on camera, but uh, you know, if you look closely, you can see things like duct tape and stuff holding, holding the armor together. So when it comes to Rogue One, they got to sort of rethink the design of the armor itself, the costumes, and uh, we came out with this one, this is a five POA figure. This came out with the uh, Rogue One line in the midst of the sort of 5 POA era. And yeah, pretty much lauded straight away as one of the best, best sculpts there is. And we've got figures falling around everywhere here. So one of the best sculpts in terms of the helmet especially. If we can get that to sort of focus up a little bit, that'll be very, very nice. There we go. Yeah, still to this day, a fantastic looking Stormtrooper, despite the static pose. Um, yeah, it still it still knocks them out of the park, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I, gra I gra grabbed as I didn't grab many of them, but I grabbed as many as I could because I know they'd be great scene fillers and yeah, just just awesome looking figures. So around that same time, Rebels was doing its thing. So yeah, Rebels was very much well on its way, and we got the sort of animated style, which left a lot to be desired considering the style of animation of the Clone Wars. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a little bit of an adjustment, but looking back, I have a lot of fond memories watching the Rebels series, and uh, it's one I'll always go back and revisit for years to come. And a really rich story, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, the, the design of the Stormtrooper really grew on me, so that was cool. So yeah, before any more fall over, we'll take a look at a three and three quarter inch First Order Stormtrooper, coming out with five points of articulation. We did see a slight change in the helmet design with The Last Jedi. They just fixed, changed it up a little bit, a little bit of variation. Much like the original trilogy, where troopers' helmets did look very different, their armor looked slightly tweaked. Um, so yeah, continuing that trend of just sort of tweaking the armor a little bit. So I did want to mention the first order stormtroopers in this video, being that they are stormtroopers. And uh, yeah, later in the vintage collection, we did get a super articulated one. Some of the paint apps were questionable, as you can sort of see this one here. The the head sculpt isn't the best. The head sculpt's fine, but the paint apps, uh, yeah, leave a little bit to be desired. Um, as did some of the other figures that sort of come out 2018 with the resurgence of the vintage collection. And uh, yeah, for the most part, some of them seem to be getting mostly improved um, with the uh, bringing along of the photo real paint apps. Just adds a little bit more accuracy. And uh, yeah, I kind of wish I picked more of these up, but I didn't, so. <laughs> I think I've got one or two. Um, yeah, I'd love to get some more First Order Stormtroopers um, just to build those ranks and, and fill up the shelves a little bit more. So yeah, with the with the Resistance era, we got to get an animated, another animated series called Resistance. Definitely didn't hold up as well as the Clone Wars or Rebels by a long shot, but uh, did come out with a couple of cool figures. Um, there weren't many. There were maybe uh, maybe a dozen figures that came out in the line and were quickly uh, disbanded, unfortunately, because we really didn't get all the characters. And uh, I, to this day, still haven't seen the second season, but uh, I actually like the animation style of these Stormtroopers. Probably a little bit better than the, the Rebels ones, if I'm honest. I don't know. I just like the armor. There's something about them I think it's cool. Yeah, definitely crossed over to figure form really nicely. 
interesting. But uh, yeah, I, I, I dig that a lot. I think it looks, I think it looks kind of cool. Just a nice, different design. And then we get to the vintage collection as well. And uh, yeah, here I have in my hands is basically the Stormtrooper to end all Stormtroopers. This is where we've got to, guys. 2000 and let's see what year this was technically done. Doesn't have a date, but I think it was 2019 or early 2020 when Vintage Collection introduced a Rogue One Stormtrooper. And yeah, using a similar similar mold to the 5POA one I showed earlier, but uh, yeah, super articulated and super awesome. No holsters on this one, which is probably the only downside, but not a bit bad, not a problem at all, because some of them do hinder movement. And if you really wanted to, you could cut the holster off of an old one and stick it on this one. But uh, yeah, in, in my opinion, this is the creme de la creme of 3.75 inch Stormtroopers. So uh, yeah, given 40 odd years, this is where we've come. We also do have a couple of versions of these, Luke and Han in disguise. The Luke one is ever so slightly different, but uh, yeah, here is the six inch version as well. Which, yeah, very much so. One of the best figures in the Black Series line in my opinion. Um, I wish they'd just keep releasing them so you know, people that want to army build can army build. And uh, yeah, really add troops to the ranks. I think it's a no brainer to keep putting Stormtroopers out whether you put it on a Rogue One card or not. Same with the Stormtrooper here. I think, you know, you could safely just repack and repack and repack and people would buy, buy, buy. So I think it'd be, I think it'd be wrong to not reuse the mold as much as possible. We did have a couple of um, troopers from the Mandalorian. An artillery trooper and a incinerator trooper as well using this same mold uh, with a few extra retooled parts um, to distinguish them from from this one also did get a remnant stormtrooper which is just a dirty version of this one looks a little bit like that guy <laughs> but yeah these two are you know this is where we've got to from sort of 2018 uh, sorry 2019 20 onward 2020 I think this one came out the black series and uh, yeah, we've certainly got, in my opinion, the perfect Stormtrooper now. I think they're both fantastic. And uh, yeah, that brings to the end of the video. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know there's a lot of Stormtroopers I missed in the middle there, but I just wanted to talk through the ones that I have. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of background and, and stuff on each of them. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoyed putting this video together. I've been looking forward to doing this one for a while. So as you been, may have been able to tell, my video cut out at the last minute. So just finishing up on the phone here and uh, yeah, we'll get this video out as soon as possible. So yeah, really, really happy to have this video done. I've been excited about doing this for a long time. Love to your thoughts and comments down below. If you don't follow my channel already, please hit the subscribe button and throw, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Also check out my members. Um, tiers on the front page of my channel. I'm always looking for joining for a very, very small fee per month. And uh, yeah, you've got a great crew of members following, supporting and following me here on the channel. So thank you all. Um, as you see, we saw at the start of the video. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you always.